guys, it's Nick. I'm here in Johns Pass in Florida, Madeira Beach. And here you can see the drawbridge is up. So pretty cool to watch that go up and down. And uh, there's a whole lot of stuff here at Johns Pass. I'm gonna take a walk over there right now and see what's going on on a nice Saturday afternoon, February 27th. So this is Johns Pass. And there's a whole lot of things to do here. A bunch of stores, an arcade, um, some kind of alligator, live alligators or something for kids. Um, there's boat tours, dolphin tours, fishing tours, I think jet skiing, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so if you're in the Clearwater area and you want a, a little bit of a change from the beach for one day, or even half a day, you could come here after the beach. Um, it's, it's just north of St. Pete Beach and uh, Treasure Island, and this is considered Madeira Beach City, and uh, it's south of Clearwater Beach. So it's between Clearwater Beach and St. Pete Beach. So there's an arcade. Uh, there's also like a, a fair here where they close off the street. I don't know, maybe it's a couple times a month or something like that. You got the alligator attraction, arcade, and uh, somewhere around here, I'm not sure where, I think maybe over here is uh, Ben Mala's apartments, his condos that he bought and turned into a, uh, apartments that you can rent like a hotel room. So uh, if you don't know his channel, he does real estate in Clearwater and around this area, and he always does videos over here. So this is the place, John's Pass, that he's uh, coming to a lot. So you can park over here. There's a parking garage. There's hotels over here. Uh, so you can make it a whole stay. Got your touristy stuff, of course. Beach burgers, frozen custard. But if you want some good seafood, there's a lot of seafood restaurants down here. And there's even a Baba Shrimp and Company restaurant also. What is it, Baba Gump? <laughs> uh, whatever it is. Saltwater Taffy. He needs a type of popcorn that doesn't have kernel. Yeah. You got Delosa's Authentic New York Pizzeria. Uh, I never tried it, but I'm a little tempted. I wonder if they sell by the slice. So let's start from one end and walk to the other. We got this, the hut bar and grill, tiki hut kind of place. I think they got some live music in there, it sounds like. Privately owned and managed parking lot. Not sure how much it costs there. But if you park in the city of Madeira Beach parking spots, there's some across the street um, on the little side streets that lead to the beach. And that is $2.50 an hour. So I'm not sure how much these private lots are. They're probably more, I'm sure. But, um, you know, the, the parking across the street is, is limited. You might have to walk around for a bit trying to find some. But, uh, See what's going on here. We got this fish shack, Waltz Way. I, I was here 
a month ago it was pretty busy in the afternoon. Um, and now you got all these boats over here. Flying hub. Jet skis. Man, it's only 80 degrees, but it feels like it's 90 right now, I'll tell you. So let's go check out the boardwalk. So wow, man, look at all the boats that's out here enjoying this day. And all the jet skis. And the pelicans and whatnot. Wow, there is a lot of people out here, as they should be. It's a great day to be out here on the water. Uh, maybe have a drink, maybe have some fish, maybe just do some boat tours or jet skiing or even fishing. So let's see some of these stores over here. Donuts and gelato ice cream. Can't go wrong there. Jet ski rentals. We got the taffy shop. And I'm gonna pick that the first time I bought something in my So you got this restaurant over here, the hut, and you can eat right here on the water, which looks really cool. Not sure how the food is, but uh, there's a lot of people here, so they got to be pretty decent. <laughs> you got this shark boat thing. I don't know what that is, but uh, you can tour on it right there. and. Take a bunch of pictures for your Instagram or something. Uh, I don't know. Shark Bell Tours. Scully's Grill. So, I mean, honestly, this looks like this has more boat stuff than Clearwater Beach. Because this dock right here is pretty big. Of course, you got the uh, pirate ship. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. Calypso Breeze Tropical Buffet. I don't know if buffets are still open, but apparently this one is. So if you like a buffet, come check them out. Ice cream, chocolates. Oh, Kilwins. This is the same place uh, as in downtown St. Petersburg where they make the fudge and all of that stuff. So here is the drawbridge, and there's actually what looks like a little beach over here. I didn't realize this, there's people swimming here. Along with the pelicans, or whatever they are. 
And just so you know, that little beach along the boardwalk in John's Pass isn't the only beach. So here we're on the right-hand side of the drawbridge and there's a nice beach right here, right across the street from John's Pass. So it's not huge, but it's a beach nonetheless. And there's a parking lot here, not that big. But uh, so yeah, you can come here for the beach and then after the beach, clean up and go check out John's Pass for dinner or for a boat ride or a uh, fishing dolph dolphin tour or whatever. And uh, yeah, it's nice, pretty nice place. I didn't even know this was here actually. Um, that is a crowded beach right here. And it's, it's almost five o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday and yet there's still a lot of people. Uh, let's check that water. Water's not that bad. It's not that bad. I would, I think I would swim here. So yeah, that's a look at John's Pass, Madeira Beach, right across the street from John's Pass. And I think you can rent chairs and these half tents and stuff. There's Bubba Gump Shrimp Company upstairs. Guys, that's a look at John's Pass in Florida, north of St. Pete and south of Clearwater. And you can do all kinds of things out here. You got this drawbridge that opens and closes. And by the way, for those that don't know, John's Pass, this waterway right here, used to be solid. It was all one island until the storm of 1848, which was like a category four storm or something along those lines and uh, it came and flooded everything out here and washed away uh, this part of the island and so they had to build the bridge over there and it's called John's Pass because some kind of, uh, I don't know, pirate or somebody named John was the first one to come through here after the storm. So that's why they call it John's Pass. So if you are in this area in Clearwater and St. Pete and want to come down here for an afternoon or even an evening over here to do a whole lot of things. Come check out John's Pass. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Parking rates a dollar for 20 minutes, maximum $20. Um, not bad. Oh, there's the Ben Mala's John's Pass Hotel. I guess all of those used to be stores and he turned them into condos or hotel rooms, whatever you want to call it. And I looked online and uh, for next weekend to get a king size room, I think it's about $200 a night, something like that. So uh, if you're wondering what it costs to stay out here, that's one of the places at least. And it's an uh, all new room, obviously they just built it out uh, because I watch his videos. So that's how I know. <laughs>